Um, I wasn't really wanting to make this video, but I think it's going to have to come out at some point. Uh, but today we're going to be going over the Doomsday Heist, okay? I didn't do it at all. I didn't do anything last year, but I think we're going to have to go over this now. So I think for the first heist we're going to go over is we're going to go over the Doomsday Sinestro, the hardest heist in the game. Now, I'm going to split this into three segments. The first segment will be the vehicles, and this will go for all the heists, okay? So I'm only going to be doing this video once for the vehicles. Uh, the next one's going to be the preps, and that goes for, like, if, for example, we do the Doomsday Sinestro, like I said, we're going to be doing those, all those preps in that one setup, because um, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do them. And in, in the third segment, we're going to do the setups. The fourth segment, I know I said three, but four, we're going to do this in... Um, we're going to do the third seg segment as the setups, then the fourth one's going to be the actual heist itself. Now, uh, we're going to start off with the Doomsday Sinestro, like I just said. Um, so let me know what one down in the comments you want me to do next, and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so there actually is a lot of vehicles on this list, but I'm going to start off with the honorable mention that you don't really need, but I would suggest you get it if you have the money. Um, unfortunately, this vehicle is the Oppressor Mark II, and I know I said unfortunately, but true to God, I don't like this vehicle. No, I don't believe him. Um, anyway, uh, let's see what we've got going on here. The vehicle is good for the prep missions, it's basically there for you to get transport. So like, if you say got the facility that I got, which I'll show you later on, um, you can get from one place to the other really, really quickly. So like, for example, another setup, for example, you could probably do this on is the Chernobog setup, which is the giant caterpillar truck setup. <laughs> but uh, if you have the one up at Polito Bay or something, you could drive up there pretty easy, grab the tuna bowl, come back. It, it's, it's basically just there for transport, really. Um, so that's what vehicle I'd suggest you get there. The next vehicle that's going to be the honorable mention, and this will probably be the last one, the Barrage. Now, the Barrage is good for two setups. Two setups. The tuna bowl setup and the Rescue ULP setup. Now... Eventually, you'll see that in, in the coming videos and stuff, I actually have this vehicle. I just haven't upgraded it, but the point is, um, I suggest getting this vehicle because um, there is a, a certain area of the uh, place that you can uh, go into and just keep taking out the enemies uh, one by one, and then you just got to wait for the other person to go in and out and get agent urp i'm just saying that as an example but another good setup that's good for is the chernobog one we are destroying all those helicopters to try and get um to try and get uh the agent to the safe zone and basically with this car you don't have to stop moving now the reason i picked this vehicle is it has two guns on it one at the front and one at the back now, you can have two gunners. This is only really if you have three people, but most people probably will do this with just two people. Or at least that's what I do all the time. I only do this with two people, really. Um, so I think that's all the honorable mentions. I think we should get on to the mandatory ones that you're going to need. And uh, let's start with the properties. Um, we're going to start off with the worst ones, I think. Uh, don't go for this one. I'm going to say that right now. Don't go for this one. It's not good. Um, I'd say don't go for this one as well. It's not that good. Uh, don't go for Polito Bay for obvious reasons. Um, don't go for the Zancudo River facility. I'd suggest you stay away from this one. Now, the other ones that are okay, I guess you can get in my opinion. Uh, I'd say go for this one. Like, if, if you want, if you want something simple... Yeah, just go for this. It's very easy for, like, the Doomsday Scenario, which we're going to do today. I mean, not today. Um, later on. But, yeah, go. For, you could go for this one. And this one's also good for the Doomsday Scenario, because it's you could really just uh, go up the mountain, or you could go on this pathway here, and you could get to the place pretty easy. Um, another place that's uh, pretty good for the Bogdan... Would have to be this one, the Ron 
Andrew's alternate wind farm, Ron alternate wind farm, that's a good one for the bolted problem because you're on a highway here and you have to go all the way up to Palita Bay, somewhere around this area, I think, for the bolted problem, and you can uh, just go straight up there with the with any vehicle really, and you'll get there in no time. And I think the next vehicle I'm going to have to, I mean, the next place I'm going to have to say is maybe this one. And this really is good for the first setup and the last heist. Like the first heist and the last heist. But yeah, this one is good for both of them because you're really just going in a straight line. Same thing with this one, really. You're just going in a straight line. I personally have this. I think I got it because it was the cheapest one. Uh, but... Out of all of them, I'd say it's the best. I'd say this one because you can actually spawn a helicopter on top of this one where you can uh, just, you know, use it. So I think we've gone over the best places, you know, all the good stuff out of that. I think it's time we move on to mandatory vehicles I'd suggest you get. Now, we're going to start off with the um, services vehicles, I guess you could say. Um, you don't really need the terabyte for this one. Okay, uh, if you wanted to upgrade that Oppressor Mark II, like I said at the start of the video, uh, I guess you could get it, but um, that's only if you have a lot of money. Now, I believe this one here is about 3 million, somewhere around there, but you only really need the vehicle workshop, you don't need the gun turret. The only reason you'll want to get this vehicle right here is so you can actually upgrade the guns and stuff on certain vehicles and stuff. So. For example, if you decided to upgrade that barrage, you wouldn't really need to change anything on that one. I personally would suggest you don't change anything, but that's uh, that's what I suggest. Uh, get this one instead of the mobile operations center. It'll be less of a paywall because with that you got with the uh, mobile operations center, you have to buy the bunker alongside with it. But if you guys had the money, I guess you could go for this one, but I would highly suggest you avoid it at all costs. Um, okay, so I'd suggest you get the Avenger. That's one. That's the first vehicle I suggest you get, I guess. And it's probably the most expensive item on this list, but there are going to be some more pricier vehicles as you go along. So... Um, I guess you could get this one right here, the Torador. You could get the Stromberg as well. I I would honestly recommend this one though. You can fit four people in the car and you can uh, drive a lot quicker with it. And this is only really going to be good for like the Bogdan problem and stuff like that. It's not really going to be useful for anything else. Okay, so the next vehicle is going to be the Vigilante. This one you're going to need, okay? absolutely get this vehicle i know it looks pricey right now but you have to try and get this vehicle it is one of the best vehicles across all the setups i use it all the time all the setups all everything i use it pretty much all the time yeah but that's what i but but that's the vehicle i use personally um you might find something else works better for you but um yeah get this one and you'll see it and you'll see it in the future videos coming ahead with this whole little series with uh, the doomsday heists um so there is one more vehicle on this list that i'd suggest you get and i would honestly recommend you get this um where is it though here we go we got the insurgent pickup custom now this one is it basically is for the same reason as the barrage but if you wanted to like get something cheaper i guess you could get this um but you are going to have to add like the $200,000 fee to upgrade it to the custom variant. But that's no problem. After you've done that, you don't need to upgrade this anything more further. But if you wanted to get the most heavy armor you can get, it's not it's not that expensive. But yeah, I think that's going to have to do it for the vehicles on this list. And this is only going to be for all of them. Um, I know I didn't go over the first one, but I am going to go say this right now. If you want to go for a specific vehicle, just use the Vigilante. That's the one vehicle you're going to be using for that, the majority of that one anyway. Uh, but yeah, yeah, the Vigilante is the one vehicle I'd highly suggest you get. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to go over these prep setups. The first thing I'd say with this one here, we're going to start with the marked cash. Okay, so we're going to have to go back out of this, and I'm just going to show you where these locations could potentially be for you. 
So one of the locations I believe is over here. Now, the first thing I suggest if you have a partner helping you with this, have him wait in this location or this location. There's another one at the airport too. So just make sure you have someone waiting in the city. They can go and grab it, bring it to you. It be it would make this setup a whole lot quicker. But in this case, I'm going to be doing it on my own. So let's start with the setup and see which place we get. In the last video, I suggested you get the oppressor mark too. Still, if you have it, use it for this, but you don't need it. So go straight to your location. My one is at LSIA. So let's head over there now. Now the locations usually don't take long to get there, so I'm just going to skip ahead, go to the airport, and then I'll tell you guys what you should do next after this. These preps are very important. You're going to need to know the easiest way to do them all. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go over them right now. Let's, so let's head over there right now. Okay, so we are coming up on the airport. At this point, what I would suggest you do now is make sure you have Lester called. I find the easiest way to do it is just to go to the photo that he sends you and just click on that a few times. So once you're here, go to hover over remove wanted level. You're going to need to do this because you're going to get the cops on you anyway. So you might as well just be one step ahead if you know what I mean. So yeah, pick up the stuff and then you can start heading out if you want. But you know you're going to get the cops on you. So just call these cops off yeah. All good. Now... Mine are free because I've already done all these heists. So once you've done all these heists, you'll get the cops off you for free. And I know that's not a big deal. Like, you can pay that off pretty easily. But still, you can get these cops off you for free. But, um, yeah, let's head over to the facility. And, yeah, that's all we need to do for this prep. We should move on to the next one. So let's do that right... If you guys have a partner, I'd suggest you have him go to here first before you even start the setup. So once you once he's there, start the setup and he can get started taking some good photos. And then you can show up uh, if you want to, or you can let him do all the photos. It's up to you guys. But um, I personally would just do, just head over there and help him out, or help out a little bit, like it'll speed up the job a little bit. But um, yeah. Let's head over there now and we'll go take out all these photos and uh, this will take a while because this setup takes the longest and personally probably one of the worst setups to do in this entire game. So yeah, let's head over there now. Um, okay, so once you get over to here, your friend might have taken care of some of the photos already, but we're going to start off with the front photo right here. Now, if you have your Prism Mark II, you don't have to get off the vehicle. A lot of people get off the vehicle. I'm just going to say it straight up with you guys. Don't get off the vehicle. You can use this vehicle to just take photos nice and quickly with this thing. So you got to take all these photos from here now. You don't actually have to go up to the top story. There's one certain aspect where you have to go... Hold on, let me just get up to there real quick. There's one certain aspect where you have to get up to here. You don't have to do that at all. Don't even worry about it. You, there's, there's so many other ways you could go about doing it. You could even do it from the ground floor. So just take out all these photos. These photos won't take you terribly long to do. Now, I forgot to mention this before. I'd suggest you do this setup maybe one of the last ones you do. But we're just doing it first because we're going to go down the list. So, yeah, we're going to do the Chernobyl one next. But the point is... You gotta take out all these photos. These photos are pretty easy to take. Um, and yeah, I'm just showing you all the locations right now. All right, let me just get all these photos taken. Okay, do this one. And now you can take a photo over here. You don't actually have to move here, really. You can just take a photo of any of these locations from here. So that's pretty cool. And now this one. And now we take this photo right here, which will be a bit tricky, but if you want to stay in this corner right here, you could take the photo from here. I know I'm not really making much sense right now, but I'm trying my best here. Uh, we could go a little further into the building right now, and for this last photo, this photo that requires you to go up, but you don't have to, I'm going to show you how you could do it without going up. Okay, so all you have to do is just stay around, well, maybe around here somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. You could be on the other side if you want, but just take a photo of that building right up there. That's all you need to do. Send it to Lester, 
and now all you have to do is leave the area very easy very simple rescue agent 14 we're going to be doing this like as if you have the vigilante okay you got to have the vigilante to do this otherwise um i probably will do another one but in the future but not now i just want to do all these ones with vehicles that will help you uh but yeah today we're going to be doing this so the first tip i could say put it on normal mode put all the setups on normal mode okay you don't really need this setup you don't really need all right let's get into the setup and uh all you really need to do is pick out the vehicle you want to use now i personally would suggest you use the vigilante okay use the vigilante it is so useful for the setup okay so make sure you get that vigilante out okay my vigilante is right here okay so the first thing i'm gonna have to say is just straight go go straight to the location i guess and uh take out everyone you can but the one thing i'm gonna tell you right now not to do don't use your missiles until you've taken out everyone because trust me there's something in there that you're gonna need to know what to do okay so that's something that's just something you need to know so basically what I'm saying is take out everyone with guns. Don't take out everyone with the missiles in the vigilante. You're going to have to take out everyone with the guns. All right. So let's get over there right now. It should not take too long. Looks like he's got a vigilante too. That's pretty cool. Now, if your friend has a vigilante and if he has missiles, I guess it doesn't matter. They can use their missiles or... you one of you can use your missiles i'd highly suggest one of you could use your missiles if you wanted to but if you don't have a vigilante and the other person does i suggest you do this do not use the missiles until you have taken out all the guards because you want to use your missiles for those juggernauts helicopters and more so the reason you want those for them is, well, basically, it'll get you to the next checkpoint, which will be a lot easier. So let me get over there real quick, and we'll take out all the enemies. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna play this. I'm just gonna play through with this, like, like normal, I guess. So let's get over there. Okay, so you're coming up on this location now. All you need to do is just take out all the enemies just as normal. You don't need to worry about shooting them with your missiles. Make sure you shoot them with your guns, okay? So personally, what I would suggest you use is the carbon rifle. It's the cheapest one you can get for now, and he's arrived. So like I said before, if your friend has one with missiles, just you could just let him take out everyone, but you do want to still be careful where you're shooting. Uh... But yeah, uh, once you've taken out all the enemies, I'm going to show you guys what I do personally every single time I do this heist, okay? This is this is very important. So let me just take out all these enemies and then I'll tell you guys what I do next. Okay, so once you've taken out all those targets, you want to go back to your vehicle now. Oh god, it might be too late. I could not get to the vehicle in time. But if you had the time make sure you go to your vehicle and hide it in a corner you're gonna need that it's gonna be too late for me i can't get it in time yeah there we go i can't get this in time but what you'd want to do is i'm going to show you where you'd want to hide it as well and this could should have probably been done first i am going to show you how to do this still uh let's just see if i could get this out that'll do and then boom take out all these enemies right here just just take them out like normal there we go another one and then there's that last one okay now what you want to do is you want to go straight to your vehicle just run straight for it don't go, don't stop running until you get to your vehicle okay just just run straight and need it okay there you go you got your vehicle now all you want to do now is just take out these targets with your vigilante now what you'd want to do is hide your vehicle um inside hold on let me just take out these enemies first okay there we go you'd want to have hide it in that little corner there you see that little door there that's where you will want to, want to have hide it but now you are now have a checkpoint done you now no longer have to worry about those juggernauts but i'm gonna show you what i do here i usually like to take out these helicopters right here uh just try to aim for the helicopters of course but yeah once you've taken out those targets you'll be all sweet 
there you go take out that one and you'll still want to take out everyone else but yeah okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to see a helicopter spawn any second now yeah here we go right here take them out as soon as you can shoot their missile at them and then what you want to do is go into here this will basically make it so these two juggernauts spawn here all the time now um once you got these two done, all you have to really do is just take out these two juggernauts right here. You don't need to worry about any other juggernauts. Just take out these two and you'll be all sweet. There you go. Now you have the checkpoint. So even if you die right now, it doesn't matter. You're still going to have all those checkpoints saved. So if you wanted to, you could go help them out. But another thing you could do is go grab that helicopter and just ha and just pick them up, I guess. That's that's one thing you could do to actually complete this a little bit quicker. Just uh, go get your helicopter, pick them up. It's not hard, not 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 hard at all. Just just grab the helicopter, pick them up. Now it's not that easy um, as well. Uh, you'll have to stay low to the ground, and staying low to the ground in this game ain't that easy. Stop watch. He's going to try and take out the target, but I'm going to go grab Agent 14. So go grab it. Go grab the agent and you'll be all good. Okay, let's see if I can get to him. Yes, I got him. I got his attention, but now I need to get him in here. Hey, how did he get... Oh, I got, got the car. Okay, we wait for him. He sometimes just does that when he whacks his head onto the back of the uh, missile system. Yeah, just, just fly up a little bit so he can get up there. Uh, so the next thing, just drive him to the drop-off and you've completed this setup this setup is pretty easy in my opinion okay so now that we're away from all the trouble everything has been left behind us just stay low to the ground you're gonna need to stay low to the ground now staying low to the ground also means you can just ho hover over buildings you can hover over buildings like say about this high from the building Yep, there you go. You can stay, stay at that height of the buildings, but you still want to stay nice and low to the ground. I'd suggest you just stay as low as you can. Don't get too low. You might hit those trees or poles or something. I've seen that happen before. I've, I've literally seen that happen before. It's not, it's, not that, it's not that great, you know? So let's head over there. If you guys want to know what happens when you get too high helicopters start to try and chase you down and they won't stop until they get you so make sure you stay low so just like that we have completed the setup pretty much just uh, land this thing right here and you will be sweet very easy very simple setup it's very easy with the vigilante it makes it so easy so I hope you've I hope this have helped you today Okay, so the next setup is going to be the Trinner Box. So before we go into showing casing anything else, I'm going to show you where all the potential locations could be. One is, I believe, over here. It could be a little further on, but I believe it's right over here. Another one is, like, right where Fort St. Kudo is. This is the best one you want to try and get. Uh, another one is, like, way down here. This is the worst one, probably the worst one by far, and another one is one around these docks. I'm not 100% sure where, but I'm pretty sure it's down those docks. Okay, um, so now that we've gone over all the set, all the way I was doing it, let's talk about how you can potentially do this. So, the first thing I'd say is, if you have a partner, once you've started the setup, him go straight to the location, and then you follow along. That's the first impression in my head really that's the first thing I can say uh, let's see where our location is for this one uh, okay so what I'd say for this is the first thing I'd suggest you have is something weaponized but it's not crucial you don't really need the weaponized vehicle but it does help and I'm gonna show you why it helps in this one right here um, so let's head over there it's quite a far drive but this one's actually not too bad i actually take that back what i said before i actually think this one's not too bad because you could just take the highway back but the only potential threat from uh getting you getting this done would have to be maybe griefers okay that's the only thing that could potentially mess you up if if griefers come after you then i suggest just uh just pay to have this setup done because the setup is horrible you don't want to do the setup really um 
but yeah, that's sort of what I've been. That's sort of what I'm thinking with this setup. Don't don't do it if you get grief too much. Just pay for it to have it skipped. This would be the only setup I'd recommend you skip. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so you just about made it to the place now. If you have a weaponized vehicle, that's going to be very useful. But I am going to say this. The enemies here are very... Well, not so hard to take out. There's only a couple really with rail guns, but that's all you really need to be careful behind. There are some areas where you could hide, which is actually really good. Once you've hidden in those locations, you should be pretty eased to attack them all. You shouldn't have too much trouble attacking them, but you got to be careful. There are some people that still have rail guns, and uh, <laughs> that's not good when you get shot down by one. But anyway, I've taken down everyone here. All you have to do now is just take down the uh, Chernobog, or take the Chernobog, take it back to your facility, and you have completed the setup. Now, this will take a while, okay? The Chernobog, this will take a while. The Chernobog is the slowest vehicle in the game, so this will take you a little while to actually get there. And also, please be careful. There are enemies that try and chase you down. If you, if you get too close to them you could end up blowing them up and the more explosions you take the worse your vehicle will get because your vehicle could blow up from uh, too much explosions and stuff so be careful when you're driving this thing you also want to be careful driving these things around in the traffic too because these traffic ain't that good to uh, participate towards the car blowing up but hopefully you'll be all good with no cars blowing up in the process but anyway um, Let's get this thing to the facility and uh, yeah, let's just try our best. All right, now that we've completed this setup, okay, uh, let's get started with the setup. So for this one, you're gonna need the Vigilante and another vehicle. And this is personally what I would recommend. I think you should use the Vigilante and either the Mirage or the Insurgent Pickup Custom. But, so if you have those two vehicles, you, you're good, you're good. So we're going to go with this vehicle right here to start with. You want to pick the Vigilante to start with. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to written. I want to make sure I actually have this vehicle so we all know I have it. Okay, where is this vehicle? The Insurgent. So it's I. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Insurgent Pickup Custom. I have one of those. Okay, so you want the Insurgent Pickup or the Barrage and the Vigilante. So let's start with the Vigilante first. Um, if I can find it. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I found the Vigilante. Let's go with the setup. I hope this guy will join me in my car. Let's get the setup done. Now, the easiest way I know how to do this setup in particular is, first of all, for the Vigilante, you're going to have to take out all the targets uh, with the Vigilante's missiles. Then, once you've done that, you could take the Caterpillar drive it to the location, and then call in your insurgent or barrage, whatever one you chose, just choose one or the other. It's it's very easy. The barrage, you don't have to pay an extra setup fee for the actual, like, making it your own. Uh, but with the with the insurgent pickup custom, you get a lot more protection with it. Same thing, you know, with the barrage. But the point is, we got this. Anyway, let's get this guy in my car and let's head over there right now. Let's go. Now, another way people sometimes do this is they have all the people take out the targets and then they head over to the military base and have one person take the caterpillar. But honestly, guys, that's the worst way you could do it, in my opinion. You're better off having someone in a gun that knows what they're doing. So what? now that you know that you got the gun in the car that you need, Make sure you have. Make sure you head over there. Of course. Like anyway. Anyway, let's head over there right now, and I'll show you guys what you're meant to do when you get over there. Guys, I've been studying these heights for years. Well, probably more. Probably about a thousand times by now. But yeah, the point is, I know what I'm doing with this heist. So make sure you take my notes. Take some notes into what I do here, because I know this heist very well, and people think this heist is very, very hard. Personally, I think it's easy. Because I obviously do it all the time. But the point is, it's not that necessarily too hard, not difficult, not nothing. Really. But anyway, let's get to this location. This location is all the way up in Polito Bay. See, having the one in Fort Sankudo is probably one of the best locations for this one. 
But also Route 68 is also pretty good. Remember at the start of the whole thing I told you what one you should buy? Make sure you go check out that video too. You really want to keep yourself moving so this guy... So if you're playing with a random, they can't really get out of your car. And as long as you keep going, you should be sweet. I just got to make sure I have my missiles out and ready to go. Oh, here we go. Right here. I see the guys right over here. Let's go around this corner and take out these cars. Okay, first one taken out. Second one taken out. Now we can focus on the ones in the middle a bit. We can just fan out. We don't really need to worry about these cars too much. Anyway, let's get in there and see if we can take out those targets. Very easy, very simple. As you can see, I've basically taken out all the targets right now, really. This is not hard at all. My god, that could have blown up my car easy. Okay, let's just, uh, just finish these guys off. And even if this one is not really cooperative, you can still do this on your own, basically. You just have to make sure you get into the vehicle quickly. So hopefully this guy will... Yeah, he's not getting in. All right, so what I need to do is I need to get over to this location right over here with the landing site. What I usually do here is I usually like to call in the vehicle as I'm driving. So just, just do that, I guess. Now, I want to say this right here, right now. That vehicle that he's using right now... Completely useless. Don't don't even go to it, man. It's 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 very useless. I would highly suggest you go either towards getting the insurgent pickup on your way there, or just don't get in that vehicle. Just just trust me, you don't want to get in that vehicle at all. Um, but yeah, let's get this one done. Okay, so you can call in the thing once you've stopped. Okay, once you've stopped around about say here, call in the insurgent pickup custom. And you are good to go. Just wait for the thing to come and hopefully you will be sweet. Uh, now another weapon that could help is the explosive sniper rifle if you have that. But you don't need it, okay? It's not a major necessary thing you need. So once you've got your guy in the gun, he should start shooting them. But the best ones to time to shoot down is just the helicopters. And if you don't upgrade the gun, trust me, do not upgrade the gun. Do not do it, because you could just use proximity mines instead. You will get these helicopters knocked down a lot more quickly, okay? These, these, these helicopters don't take much bullet resistance to, like, the non-upgraded version of the gun. But if you wanted to, you could use the proximity mines underneath your car. And I got them, as you can see, just down below my car. And as you can see, he took out those targets pretty quickly. Now... As long as he looks at the minimap, he should be able to see some more helicopters come by. And these helicopters will not be hard to take out. So far, this is basically it. This is basically all you need to do. You could even do this on hard mode, okay? So even with the Vigilante, you could really knock out this thing pretty quickly. Even though this is really time consuming, this one, man. Very time consuming. <laughs> I do want to say there's one more thing what I got in my head, in my head. There is one point in this job where you're going to could help him out quite a bit, but he might get out of the vehicle. Knowing randoms, they're most likely to get out of vehicles when you get out. So uh, if you have a friend, I'd highly suggest you do this with a friend. But what you could do is get out of a vehicle and uh, you could use a rocket launcher of some sort. You don't need to worry about guys like i said you could use proximity mines and usually you don't need to unlock it through research um, I, correct me if i'm wrong down in the comments but i'm pretty sure you don't need it um now another thing you could do to help out and this is just something I personally would just suggest doing, like, as a driver, you could just use a whole lot of proximity mines and just start blowing them all up. It'll basically give the uh, gunman no choice but to shoot down the helicopters and not the cars. And that's another thing, for the, for the gunman, just let the guy destroy the cars. Wait, what is he doing? <laughs> um, he's trying to aim for the wrong thing, I think. Now guys, I'm actually playing this heist with a random. This is not this is not like one of my friends on my friends on my buddies list. Uh, this is completely legit. I'm showing you guys 
from the perspective of a random playing this with me now yeah some people do try and get the cars knocked out but i i personally like to just blow them up myself with the with the proximity mines like i always say Okay, I almost forgot to mention one more thing. Guys, go on these mountain sites. When you come over to here, make sure you try and come onto these mountain sites because you could get some pretty decent shots from up here if you're the gunman. Uh, but yeah, get into these mountains as quick as you can. And once you're, this is an off-road vehicle, by the way. And that's why you'd probably want to get onto the onto the mountains. And you're spending less time on the ground. And you can focus on those helicopters. Now, if you want to, you could go out of your car, like I'm doing right now, and uh, get your missile launcher out. You could get anyone you want, and you could just blow up those cars. Now, be careful, because they can spot you, and they will shoot you. See? That's what I... I just, I just destroyed that thing for him, and I saved him a bit of time doing that. Now, um, you see that Agent ULP sign down below me? That didn't go down that much, and we have been doing this for pretty long. Okay, this is this is one of the most legit methods I've actually seen pe other people use as well. Now, if you have two people, like, no, no, two more people, sorry, not just two people, but two more people would be so much useful for this because if they have a, a uh, insurgent, you can have two people firing at those things at the same time. So that would be an amazing way to try and complete this thing. And trust me, I have seen this job be one of the most stressful jobs, stressful jobs to do in GTA 5 online. I will agree with that because I never do it. I literally just skip the setup all the time, but I'm showing you guys today just so you know what I would do in this given situation. Now, I did forget to mention this, but uh, you only get one shot at this when you have the vehicle right here. So you only really get one shot at this. So if you mess it up, you'll have to use the Chernobog, but if you don't, And just like that, we have completed them. This gu these guys are all turning back. Now, all we need to do now is just wait for ULP to go to the location, which is the same location as in the last setup we did. Guys, this is basically the end of the video, but I'm going to wait till we get to the end. I'll see you guys when I get there. I'm just going to skip past this this time. Okay, we are just about done. You can see them right there, everything's gone off, and we are done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful in any sort of way, please let me know down in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe, please hit that subscribe button. We are coming close to 200 subscribers. I know we can smash that target. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so we're moving on to this one, which is the Barrage Mission. Now, there are multiple ways you can go about doing this. You can get this done quickly, call the cops, get them off you, and then deliver it back to your uh, place. That's personally what I do. Or you could do this stealthy, which means you're going to have to wait somewhere for the target to move somewhere private where you have to take a silence weapon and take them out. Now, if you are just beginning this, I'd suggest you just do the second one. Uh, wait for the target to move, get a suppressed weapon, take them out and then deliver it because you know you don't want to deal with the cops but uh if you ha don't have to worry about the cops if you uh don't mind calling them off i guess do it my way but i'm going to show you my way personally because obviously it's just the quickest way to get it done and yeah no one wants to be spending a lot of time on setups so yeah i'm going to show you guys how i do it so let's have it head over to mirror park boulevard and uh let's get this started okay so we're making our way to Mirror Park Boulevard. All we have to do is take out one enemy, 
D take the case and go. That's all we have to do. It's very simple, very easy. Now, there's not really any hard parts to it. All you have to really do is just take out the target. We just got to find a verse, which should be right there. Perfect. I took him out, grab his case, which is somewhere around here. Oh, I, oh wait, I got the case. Okay, I got the case. Uh, all right. Now, all you have to do now is just... Uh, Call Lester right here and then get the cops called off you, which is very easy to do unless you have it locked, otherwise, this is going to be hard for you. <laughs> so, all you have to do now is just deliver the box and you're done. Okay, prep complete. There we go, brief case delivered. To be playing another heist, uh, we're also going to be doing a guide on this, so let's get straight into it. Um, this is basically a how I do it personally. There's actually a lot of ways you could do this one, and I'm going to show you how I do it mine personally. And what I would also suggest you do as well, if you have the vehicle. Now, you don't really need the vehicle for this job. Hold on, let me find it. Yeah, you need the vigilante for this job. Um, if you could, I would suggest A, you... When you get there, um, you take out the target with your shot with your sniper rifle, the one you get for free the um, explosive sniper. Use that, take it out if you don't have the vigilante. But if you do, you can use the vigilante, and you can use the explosive sniper. And that's personally we will get started with the setup now. I actually could think of multiple ways to do this. You could, like when you're driving the barrage, you could drive the vehicle past the airport, like drive right through the airport, drive via uh, the finish line, if that makes sense. And then you'll have it done in less time. And you'll have it, and you can have it done in less time. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So let's get up there now. Okay, so we're coming up into this location. I'm gonna show you guys what I normally do for having this vehicle into the job now uh, if you don't have a vehicle just use the explosive sniper that they supply you which is honestly another really good way of doing it i think he's using it right there right now but come over to this location right here if you have the vehicle you could also do this here with the explosive sniper if you have well for a specific location but uh yeah come over there and all you have to do now is just wait a little while just so you get a lock on to those uh helicopters there because you got those missiles and uh if i haven't said yet you gotta hit those missiles on those vehicles okay you, you just gotta have it okay here we go you can start shooting missiles at them left right and center it doesn't matter just keep shooting them and you should be good all you have to do now is just take out those last two which should be pretty easy here we go take out ta go go crazy go crazy try and take out these targets as quick as you can see look i just took them out right there at then now usually what i would do is i'd grab the vehicle i'd drive it over to the location and uh call in my um and call in my place uh, i mean call, I, I mean call in my vigilante and yeah but there's also other ways you could potentially do this sort of thing like for example you could just bypass the place and you could take them out that way uh another way you could uh, and, uh, no sorry i know the first way is you could bypass the uh, airport drive this to the actual finishing location and then just wait for the other person to finish it off finish off all the enemies at the airfield um you could go to the airfield you could get out of the vehicle you could uh call in your vigilante and uh help him out get back into the barrage and head back to the location the destination and i think there's one more location one more thing i could do and this is also another way i'd show you guys which are on which way i go all the time like i always come down in this direction you will barely ever get shot down here and i honestly would highly recommend you guys follow this route it doesn't matter what vehicle you have anything will work unless you have like a monster truck or something otherwise you're good <laughs> but honestly i don't think you're going to use a monster truck in this setup at all <laughs> um, but yeah other than that you get this done pretty quickly pretty easy let's just head over to the airport and uh we'll showcase what we do next and honestly this is honestly what i would suggest you do uh i haven't actually tried this before and i want to see if it actually works and I think it will work, actually, guys, because you could just bypass this area. You could go to the location of where you got to go to finish the setup, and then 
just wait for the other guy to finish taking out the targets depending on how many missiles they have you know like if you if you uh, know you've used up a lot of missiles and you really don't want to be and you really don't want to use them as much i guess have your friend come and help you but other than that i I'd, I'd say you let your friend take care of the rest of the mission now i do want to showcase another thing you could do this is something you could do if you don't have any of the vehicles so i'm going to show you guys how this works but yeah all right we'll just do a little bit of it we're not going to do all of it but we're just going to go straight into it okay so as you know we got the explosive sniper right here all you have to do now is just take out the targets now you could just do this just just shoot all the targets shoot, shoot all the vehicles and you can take out the majority of the enemies and take out the helicopter but once you've taken out that helicopter, you can probably just start heading over to the actual location. And I know I've been talking so much in this video, but honestly, there's so much in this setup you need to take into note here. Um, but yeah, this is what I was suggesting you do. Go straight to the location, and I'm going to show you where this location is now. So just head in this direction. You should be sweet, should be fine, and then you'll complete the setup. Now, let's get over there now, and I'll show you at the end of the setup. Oh, wait! <laughs> I actually wasn't paying attention, but the, the guy actually did it already. <laughs> uh, yeah, another thing, I forgot to mention this, but uh, this is pretty self-explanatory, but put it on normal mode when you're doing the setups, and then put the heist on hard mode, then you'll get more money. Uh, but yeah, that's honestly what I'm, I'm suggesting you do right here. And just like that, we're done. Okay, so the last one is the setup. I'm just going to go straight in and show you guys what to do. This is just something I'd suggest you do. Anyone can do this, okay? As long as you have a suppressed weapon, that's all that matters. You don't need anything else. You just need a suppressed weapon that will be good for you. Let's head over to Self Mo Motion Drive. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do this. This is a very easy um, setup. I have had no problems doing it this way. Um, it does sort of matter what guards you take out first. Okay, so this one's actually pretty easy to explain. All you have to do is just take out the targets pretty much in that order. So the first target, you take it out. The second target, you take it out. And then all you have to do is just take out this last target. It's pretty easy, but it's not always the same way. Sometimes you're going to have to take out, say, this target or maybe that target. I don't know. You might have to take out a different target as you go along with different like locations. So... It's not like it's going to be the same location every time, but usually when I do this, I always take out that guy last. Like, the one that's furthest away from you, I usually take him out last. Anyway, let's uh, get inside, and I'll show you how this part is done. Now, there's two potential locations of where this laptop is going to be, and I'll show you. Okay, so the first one we're going to take out, obviously, is this one. Take out this guy right here. Perfect. And our lockbox is right here, but I am going to show you the other location of where this could be. This other location is right in here, right in this closet here. That's where the other location is. Okay, so just take out the targets, I guess. You don't have to worry about this guard right here, but I'll take him out anyway. And you didn't have to worry about this guard right here. He doesn't need to be taken out. Or just take him out just if you don't feel safe, just... Just take them out if you don't feel safe. Okay, so once you've left the house, just uh, go back to your facility and you should be good. Now, if you don't have a flying vehicle, that's fine. Just use this one right here. You should be able to use it. Actually, you know what? Let's check that out right now. Yeah, you could use it. So if you don't have a flying vehicle or a vehicle, you can use that one for now. And then all you have to do then is just take the laptop to your facility. Now... Like I said before, the facility that I suggest you avoid, and this was in the previous video, uh, don't get the one near the city. That's the worst one you can get. A lot of people probably think that it's going to be the best location, but trust me when I say it, it's not the best location. It's the furthest one away from everything. So just don't get that one. Get the Fort San Kudo one or the Route 68. That they may cost a little more, but they're a lot more worth it. You'll make your money back. It's not that. It's not that bad. And speaking of which, uh, if you have trouble making these money, I guess do the Bogdan problem one. Um, that's the easiest one of a bunch. I wish I could. Ex 
I, I can't really explain it right now as I'm doing this one, but maybe in maybe in a future video I'll do a guide on the Bogdan problem, even though I feel like people already know how to do the Bogdan problem by now. Anyway, we've got the uh, laptop delivered. I am going to try and explain this to you as best as I could. Looks like we got someone already into here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just get straight into it, I guess. Um, so this one's pretty easy if you have the vehicle, but if you don't have the vehicle, that's still okay. You don't need the vehicle, but I am going to be showing you this as if you had the vehicle, okay? And you're going to need the Vigilante. <laughs> but trust me, the Vigilante is perfect for this job. You don't even have to leave the vehicle for most of it, okay? Just trust me on this. You'll need to have the missile system on the vehicle, and... When you get there, you're going to have to have homing off, and it's very important that it's off, okay? So, let's head over to the place now, and we'll get this done. Okay, another vehicle you could use is that Kroom Armoured. You don't need to use this one. Like, you could just stay inside the Kroom Armoured, shoot everyone that's in there, and then take the Kajali. But honestly, this is so much easier. Just take this one. Um, but yeah, let's head over there now, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so you're coming up on the location now. Make sure you have homing off. Like I said before, have homing off. This is very important, okay? This is how I personally do it every single time. And this is how I work on it every single time. Now, you're probably wondering, why should you trust me? Why should, you, why should I follow anything you're saying? Well, I've done this heist for about 600 times. Probably more than that. So I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. So... Yeah, once you've taken out all these targets, as you can clearly see I'm doing, um, yeah, you can go ahead and take the Kajali. So that's why you wanted the homing off, so you could actually get a better aim, a better perspective for it. But now you can put on the missiles, and now you can just shoot everyone that's in there. Very easy, very simple. Just go in, grab the vehicle, and then all you need to do is just take it back to the drop-off. Now, they're all going to try and stop you, of course, like most things in this game. But that's not hard. You could easily just blow them up with the uh, Kajali or use your rockets or something like that. It's not like it's going to be that hard. Okay, shoot that guy, that one, and I think there's one more somewhere around here. I oh, know, it's right there. Okay, uh, we got the guys all sorted. Now what you need to do, grab the tank and then go straight to the drop-off. Now the drop-off basically is right where my facility is, which is at Fort St. Kudo. So that's where you're going. Now, uh, if you're completely new to this and you definitely don't know what you're doing, make sure you just look out for targets along the way. There'll be heaps of targets to try and stop you from getting the uh, to the drop-off. Or in this case, Fort St. Kudo. So, I'm going to show you where this waypoint is right now. So, it's basically where it is. It's not quite there. It's a little further on my uh, facility location. It's, I think it's just over here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere over here. Uh, but, yeah, we've got the destination close to Fort Sekuda. So, yeah, all you have to do is just drive it to there. And, uh, as you can see clearly right now, I've got a lot of helicopters to try and take out. Just the gun is the best option for this, uh, for this uh, part. So just use the gun, take them out, and you're sweet. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, let the gameplay go through. I might put some music on in the background, and then you can get a better perspective on like uh, how I complete these setups. It's it's pretty easy, but yeah. Okay, so as you can see, this whole thing has been one of the easiest approaches to this entire heist. Guys, this is the easiest one you could do by far. If you have the vehicle, if you have his vehicle, like the Karuma Armoured, like we saw before, you could use that as well. But I didn't suggest you use it because of, for a good reason. You don't need it. Okay, you could use it, but you don't need it. It could be known as an honourable mention now. But okay, so I really didn't want to do a guide on this, but I'm going to tell you guys a couple of ways that you could do this. First of all, Personally, what I do is I pay to skip the setup. I don't even do it. <laughs> or I do the glitch and I don't even do the setup. But I'm going to show you how to do this uh, the best way possible that I know how. But before we do, you're going to have to make another purchase, okay? Now, you could skip this, okay? You could skip this. You could maybe 
bypass this and uh, just have the Oppressor Mark II if you can. But if you want to go even cheaper, I'd say go for the Buzzard. But I'm not going to show you how to do it with the Buzzard because that, that, even shooting this thing down with the Buzzard is still a bit of a nightmare. We're going to be using the P99 laser and we're not paying for that much. I'm going to show you how you can get it for cheaper. Okay, so... Personally, I have the Fort Sankudo hanger. Now, the cheapest one you can get, I believe, is this one right over here. The one that I have. I, I can't really showcase the price, but I think it's somewhere around uh, 2 million, uh, 900,000 or something like that. Or 100,000. Yeah, I think it's 2... No. Uh, the cheapest one you could get is this one, and it is a, around 2100000 So if you have that money, I'd say go for this as well so you could get access to the uh, lasers. So yeah, that, that's what we're going to need for this one. But yeah, let's get into this straight away, and I want to show you how you can do this. Now, you have to do these setups in public sessions, which kind of sucks, but hopefully when E&E &E comes out, uh, we'll be able to do this in private sessions. I really want that to be the case. But as you can see on the mini map right there, there's like a, a little red plane, and it's like right over here. You see him? He's right there. You know, what you want to do is you want to take any vehicle you really want to get to Fort San Kudo, or don't go into your hangar, you don't need it. But what you can do is you can go straight to the Fort San Kudo, take a jet, and then go to that jet and damage it. Now, personally, what I like to do for that one is I like to use the uh, I, I like to use the mini guns for it because they're explosive, and you can get some pretty accurate shots with that thing. And another reason why you won't want to use the missiles is because they don't lock on. Okay, even if you had lock on missiles on, you won't be able to still lock onto it. Uh, I'd say another th thing you could use, and this is if you have it, uh, the explosive ammo. But if you guys can get some good shots on that, I give, I, I man, I salute to you because I can't, I can't seem to get a single shot with that gun. That's why I never use it, and I never do this setup. Um, but yeah, you could use the uh, explosive sniper or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to do this with the laser. I think this is the easiest way I can potentially uh, show you. And also, same thing with the Torador. Again, you could potentially use this with the Torador as well. You can use the Torador as well, sort of, in a way. It doesn't require you to destroy the jet, but with the Torador, you got to go underwater to pick up a certain target. Now, if you didn't want to spend that kind of money, sure, you could get the Stromberg, but you can't use the Stromberg in the Doomsday, in the Doomsday Act 2, which is the Bogdan problem. So you can't use that one for that one. Anyway, let's get to this jet, and I'll show you how to knock this thing down. And then after that, I'll show you how to do the setup as well. Um, but setup's pretty easy. All it requires you to do is to take out a few SAM targets, which, yeah, they're pretty easy to take out. I'd suggest just go into the vehicle itself with that one, but... Mm. All right, let's head over there. Okay, so we're coming up on the target right now. Um, I suggest wait for the target to actually go over land and don't and don't take him out until you get there you can see him right over there I, I i i have my locks on him but i'm not going to take him out until he gets to land and that should not take too long now if you had an explosive sniper you wouldn't have to worry about the water thing where you have to go underwater to try and take the target but for this situation you're gonna need to all uh, right let me let me try and take this target out right now there we go, I took out the target. Now we just gotta wait for this thing to land. I think this one's gonna land at at the uh, water area, at uh, Sandy Shores area. So what you could do is get yourself ready to go in there. So uh, let me show you how to do that. See look, he's right there. He's going to go straight into that water. What we're gonna do is we're gonna call in the Torador and we're gonna get access to that. So let's go call in that Torador. I honestly would suggest you have a partner do this as well because um, they could go straight to the target. Like if you know where the target's gonna land, you could you could basically beat them there and you can take the target pretty much straight away. 
uh, but we're going to do this uh, solo because I have no friends. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have no friends. Um, but yeah, let's get into this one. Okay, throw us into the water. Get into water mode and go straight to there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm coming up on that place right now. See that plane right down there? That's where we were, that's where we gotta go. We gotta get down there. Now, if you're lucky, you might not even need to get out of your vehicle, but you gotta be very, very lucky with this because this is not exactly easy. Even I struggle with this sometimes. But I'm gonna show you how you could do this. You just go right over the top and you should pick it up nice and easy, like I just did there. Let's head out, let's get to my facility, and let's start the last setup. Okay, so you will have targets to ch that will chase you down, try and hunt you down. You could take them out pretty easy if you wanted to. Uh, if you have like the oppressor or something else like that, you could definitely uh, take out those targets pretty easily. Um, I've, I've also forgotten a way on like how I'd say to get the oppressor mark two. Um, you could just do the uh, um, KO Perico heist a few times and you will get the money for it. But if you don't even have that, well, I guess another way you could sort of get the money is buy the cheapest auto shop and make money that way. And that will get you 100k per thing. So, say for example, you want to try and get the Kasaka so you can start the KO Perico heist. You'd want to do about 20 of those jobs if you're only getting 100k per thing. But I believe the um, Union Depository one gets you about 300k per thing. So, you want to try and get that as many times as you can. But yeah, that's sort of what you want to do with those jobs. But I'm only just saying that just so you know how to get to the KO Perico heist pretty quickly. Okay, we've now made it here, delivered our thing. All we need to do now is just complete this prep so we can start the setup. So let's get that setup started right now, eh? There we go. Here's your proof. I have now done it. Okay, there's your proof. I have now done it. Let's move on to the heist itself. Okay, so for this part of the um, heist, I'd highly suggest you be the pilot, okay? You have to be the pilot. Don't let your passenger be the pilot. You be the pilot. There's a couple of reasons for it too. So make sure you t uh, invite your friend and uh, make sure you be the pilot. All right. So let me just wait for someone to join and uh, we can get started with this thing. So this one doesn't require any vehicles, any specific vehicles. You don't need them. You could just pick something random. For this case, I'm going to pick something random as well. Like I'm not, I'm not going to pick anything too fancy. Just go for a random vehicle. Da, 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 da. But okay, okay, I guess we're going for the Shatara bike. <laughs> All right. Let's go do this setup, and I'm going to show you the best way to do it, but you're going to have to get there first. Now, guys, personally, I do not do this setup. I usually just skip the setup and just uh, move on to the heist itself, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. So, yeah, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You're going to see some exclusive content here to try and get this done. All right, so let me just get to the vehicle. I picked the T20 in the end, so let's get over there with the T20 right now. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how you can get into the Volatile as the, as the pilot first, okay? So what you want to do is jump out of the vehicle right now. Just jump out of... Wait, what? Okay, maybe that didn't work this time, but the point is, it usually works. You just got to try and let the car go forward a little more. Okay, <laughs> this, is, this will still work anyway. I still get into the front, but the point is, what you wanted to do was to try and get the car to drive a little further forward and you jump out. Let's get this done. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. Uh, personally, what I like to do is I like to go up beside the mountain. Uh, but I also have to show you a few controls on these planes to show you how they kind of work. So first of all, what you want to do is hold right on the D-pad. If you play a controller, but I don't know what it is for PC, so I can't help the PC people there. But um, what you want to do here is you can see the Bombay below our, our thing. What you want to do is you can hold X and it will do a carpet bomb of your specific bomb. And as you can see, that can uh, back can really benefit you in the long run. So 
what he is in, he's actually in the gun turret. You can sort of see the gun turret moving. Oh, yep, yeah, you can see it firing. <laughs> okay, so basically the easiest way to do this is just take out all the targets. You don't really have to worry about them shooting you. Like, they don't re they're not that hard to avoid, especially in a big vehicle like this. It should be pretty easy for you to avoid the missiles at all costs. So, yeah. Make sure you just avoid all the missiles. You can take out these targets pretty quickly, pretty easy. It only takes a few minutes. Well, actually, it at least takes less than a minute. But the point is, it take it doesn't take long to do this setup at all. Now, if you do miss a target, like I just did there, I, I didn't miss it on purpose. I actually missed it. Um, but, no, if you actually miss a target, like, uh, you can just go back, go get it. It's not that hard. It's not like you're really losing any time it's not like you're on a time limit or, any, or anything but yeah make sure you take advantage of the bomb bay like the uh spread of the bombs they're so useful and as you can see i've taken down ne nearly every single target they are all these are pretty easy to get like i said before uh but yeah let me just uh get this done oh uh, right at this point that um how uh, those planes start to spawn those things are also not really a big deal to worry about it's not like they're gonna actually shoot you down they're just gonna like be an inconvenience to you like they'll just uh, try and get in your way maybe they'll try and get in front of you or whatever but if you did miss a target just go around this thing does take a while to turn but it's but once you get that target it is so good the feeling is so good also, this thing is sucks at turning. I'm just saying that right now. This thing sucks at turning. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so if you miss again, I guess just go for a different target. I I, I don't know, man. It's not like you're gonna. It's not like you have a time limit to really worry about this one. So I can't really describe this very easy because um this this setup is just too easy. It's not like something something you could possibly mess up. But yeah, let's get this. Let's get, let's finish off these targets, and then we can head back to the airport. Now, yeah, that's all you really need to do. That's all I can really explain. Okay, now you only got one more target. Just take that out and head back to the same airport you did. Now, uh, since this thing is huge, okay, this thing is absolutely massive. It is not easy to turn this thing. You need to be careful when you land this thing. I'd highly recommend you be careful. But anyway, let's just take out this last target and I'll show you how to get to the airport, or at least what I do. A lot of people do a different way, but I'm going to show you the safest way to do it. There you go. The last target has been taken out. All we need to do now is go to Sandy Shores Airfield and finish the mission. Okay, guys, we're coming up on the airfield now. All we have to do now is just land this thing. Just land it pretty simple. I would suggest going past that rock and then start to descend or go down. And then you're all good to go right there. Now, there are some things you need to worry about when landing. Like, you could possibly hit a tree and probably mess up the helic uh, plane. But, yeah, if, if you don't hit those, you should be fine. But, anyway, we've completed this. Now, let's move on to the next one, which will be the heist finale. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to try and complete this heist. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, no specific vehicle required. Okay, so you can use anything you want. But there are a few weapons I would suggest you get. So, make sure you take this into the list. First of all, we're going to need a grenade launcher. We're going to need a rocket launcher. Well, that one's optional. You're going to need a mini gun. You can use any specific gun you want. Now, personally, what I would suggest is the military rifle and the unholy hellbringer. Those two guns are very important. So let's go straight into this heist. So I'm going to show you what it's like to do with probably the, um, the Kanjali tank. So let's go over to that location right now, Grapeseed, and we can get this started. I'm excited to get this done, guys. Okay, guys, so we're coming up onto the location now. I would suggest you use the Kajali tank if you're a beginner, but if you're more advanced, go for the car. Now, this does sort of matter. Now, if you pick the Kajali like we're choosing right now, you'll get a 50K if you're the host. Um, bonus cash but if you choose the car 
you'll get 100k as a bonus at the end of the heist. And I'm going to use the Kajalik, only because I don't really need the money. <laughs> I probably should have given him the money. But the point is, um, this one's pretty easy to explain. I'm going to show you guys what it's like to actually do the heart, to do everything on the inside of a tunnel entrance. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want me to do a bit of a part two to this, where I just show you the start of the heist of um, the car, let me know by leaving a like on this video. Or... Yeah, yeah, you know what, let's do, let's, let's try and do four likes on this video. I think we can, I'll do this heist again, and I'll do this with, uh, the car. And I'll show you guys, uh, the easiest way to do it with the car. Okay guys, so I just realized something before we get over there, I might as well explain this. Um, if you're the driver, that's good. If you're, okay, if you're the driver, good. But if, uh, you want to be the passenger, you don't really want to drive, like I don't want to drive really right now, um, go for the gun turn, like, Go at the front seats, don't go at the back seats, because the back seats, they're just rocket, they're just um, grenade launchers, they're not, they're not that good, they're not that practical. Use the uh, gun turret on the top of the Kajali, so if you want to get into that, it'll be at the front of the vehicle, not at the back. Okay, so when you get into the tunnel entrance, it's actually pretty easy with the Kajali, all you need to do is just basically just go right through them. You don't really need to take them out, but I'd highly suggest you take them out. I think there might be a small percent chance that they might follow you, and you'll have to deal with a bunch of enemies, but if you take them out, you won't have to deal with as many. There's still gonna be enemies coming from behind you, but just be careful, okay? Just be careful. Go into the tunnel entrance, Okay guys, back into it. We have basically come up on the end of the tunnel. All you need to do is just drive go as fast as you can. A lot of people make the mistake of just slowing down at the end so they can use the Kajali some more. But what are you really going to use the Kajali for? You're not really going to be using it at all. All you're really going to use it for is just take out these targets and you're done. But anyway, let's get the uh, next weapon out, which is going to be the grenade launcher, which is actually my grenade launcher, my type of way of doing this. Now, I like to call this method scatter bomb, and by the same name it suggests, um, it's just going to be me shooting a bunch of these things around. Now, keep going until you feel like you've taken out enough guards, okay? It doesn't matter how many tech guards you take out, just go with as many as you can. Now, with the weapon of your choice, it's personally up to you. Um, I would personally suggest you use the uh, military rifle or the carbon rifle. E either one would either one would work fine, but if you're really on low on budget, I guess you could do the, the AP pistol. But honestly, don't do it with the AP pistol. I'm just joking when I say that. I don't actually think you should do this with the AP pistol. Okay. So the minigun, here's where you're going to need to use it. You're going to need to use it to take out this juggernaut that's just around this corner now. He always spawns there, and it shouldn't take you too long to take him out with the uh, uh, minigun. Sorry. So what I would suggest here, and this is personally my suggestion, go through, if you have a partner, tell them to go through that tunnel. And you can give them universal signals to just tell them to go through that tunnel. For example, I, I shot my gun and he went through there. Anyway, let's get this done. Shoot that down and you don't have to take out any more guards here if you don't want to, but you can, it does help, sort of. Like, it sort of helps, but you don't need to do it. It's not that crazy important. Personally, I could I could just go back and help that guy now, okay? I could, I could actually go help that guy and uh, we could work it out together. Now, I do want you to take a look at the mini map before you go any further. As you can see, there's actually someone coming for me right now. And I am being extremely cautious, okay? Be extremely cautious with this mission. Because you, you won't know when there's guards coming from behind you. Now, yeah. So this part's pretty straightforward. Just shoot your guns. Try and get as many people as you can. Uh, the best place to shoot them is obviously in the head. That's their weak spot, like most enemies in this game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as you can see, my health is really low on red. I actually forgot to mention this at the start, but make sure you have armor and weapons. I, I mean, armor and ammo. I mean, armor and stacks, sorry. <laughs> Man, what's up, with my, what's up with me today? Um, 
So like I said before, keep an eye out behind you. There could be anyone coming from any moment and you will not know when it's gonna happen. So for example, there could be someone coming from behind you right now. Like there is right there. I like there's literally someone coming from behind. See, I'm I'm an expert, I know these things. Okay, take out this guard right here. Yep, perfect. And then once you've done that, you can carry on going forward. Now, this is personally what I would do. Um, I'm kind of worried about what he's going to do. Uh, but what I would suggest is you could take out everyone in this tunnel right now um, and go to this other side too. Once you've taken out the enemies on that side, you could take out the enemies on the other side. So like, for example, um, there's an enemy right there. You wouldn't be able to reach him if you if you uh, were on the other side. You, you would absolutely get destroyed probably. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go through this tunnel, obviously. If it helps, I'm going to suggest roll a lot, okay? Just roll your character a lot. Otherwise, they won't be able to shoot you that much. Okay, destroy the supply crate. I've destroyed another one. And uh, if you find any more enemies, I guess just shoot them up. You, you don't really need to worry. Um, also, go the way back you came in um go come back the way you came in because that way you can help him out a little bit as you go along now uh also be careful about your health okay that's one really important thing with the start of this heist just worry about your health do not worry about anything else okay don't worry about anything else just worry about you okay because you don't know how good the other player is for example for example you could you could die in the blink of a night so, yeah, I use the sniper rifle a lot to take out those targets. Um, I find it to be the easiest way to just deal with them. Uh, but you can use the, you can use any gun, I guess. But you gotta have like crazy accurate aim if you're gonna if you're gonna be able to knock even get close to knocking that guy out. You're gonna need a good aim. Okay, I take out one juggernaut, and then there's another one at the end, and then yeah. Okay, that's the first juggernaut taken down. Now, if this guy actually does manage to move to here, one thing you can do to knock him out easier is to just hide behind this wall right here. Now, that's only if he goes there, but usually if you stay behind those uh, tube things you saw behind me, um, yeah, they usually don't move if, they, if you uh, hide behind those tubes, okay? Um, so the next part really is coming up is where we're going to need to use the... Um, rocket launcher personally i use the rocket launcher there all the time uh so let's get over there right now and we'll get to using that rocket launcher so like i say i use the rocket launcher like right here i try and shoot into that little gap so you can get one or two decent kills you can get up to up to two kills oh looks like he's there and i'd usually shoot another one like right here but i'm not going to shoot it obviously because i'm going to die so uh, let me show you guys what we do at this point. We're halfway through the heist, okay? You guys have, but if you've gotten to this point right now, you guys have basically gotten half the heist done. So we've still got another half. There is something else i got to show you, and a lot of people don't really show Okay, guys, so there is a little bit more you need to use the um, the first gun of your choice, but you're going to need the unho um the unholy helping that's one gun you're gonna need but if you want to keep using the weapon you are currently using whether it's the military rifle or the carbon rifle those are my two personal favorites um just shoot that guard up the top pillar and then you can probably move on to the um unholy hellbringer now the good thing about the unholy hellbringer is that it has no reload so you can just keep firing and firing and firing this gun at whatever target you're trying to shoot and you will never run out of ammo so the next thing basically is very simple just go to here take out this guard on this roof thing now i did forget to mention a gun but you can use it if you want to and that is the up and anonymizer one of the best guns to use in this entire game and my personal favorite too so take the take your chances use this up and uh, just shoot these guards right here. This is pretty simple. Pretty simple way of doing it. Now, a lot of people will not show you this, but I'm going to show you this myself. So there might be a guard spawn there. Okay, just be careful about that. Just shoot this area here, and you will actually see a bunch of ammo and weapons. Those are there for you to pick up if you die there multiple times. So the next thing what we got to do is we got to go up here, and I'm going to show you the quickest way to get to the first one, and that is to just go up this staircase right here. 
Now, a lot of people go through in the middle, but I always go through here. Like, I always, always go through here. I cannot not go through there. So I'm gonna show you how these hacks work. There are a lot of different ones you could do, but I'm just gonna show you whatever I get. Another helpful tip I could say is go for the triangle. Hold triangle while you're doing it. So yeah, make sure you hold triangle. Okay, so just use your up and in, um, I mean unholy hellbringer. Just shoot these enemies real quickly. Now you should not get shot if this guy is a really good defense player. So just take advantage of that uh, and just keep going forward. Just keep pushing forward. You you should not really mess up at all at this point. Now another helpful tip if you do end up getting shot, just hide behind this wall. Hide behind the wall and keep walking forward till you get to your next location. So the next server will go to that and we'll hack that one together. And like I did before, uh, I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on like a time lapse showing you guys how quick I can do it, and uh, I'll show you exactly how you should do it too. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Now, some of them you are gonna have to sacrifice one of those red notes, but you get that back when you completed the hack. So it's not like you're gonna lose it, okay? So, okay, just move on to the next one. Uh, we did die before, but we have came back onto it. My god. Have you ever had experience where the, the character just doesn't want to shoot their right enemy? Like, it just keeps aiming for the wrong one, but you still keep getting it anyway. Um, anyway, that's, that's what I'm having experience with right now. Okay, let's move on to the next hack now. Usually, I have had no troubles with these. Oh god, go hide, go hide, take them out, take them out. Good, 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 good. Now, some of those enemies do do that. They do come from doors. But the next one, after this hack, is kind of what I really need to show you guys. Which is really kind of annoying, but I do want to showcase this in a different way. And this does happen, but I won't be defending this time. I'll be just hacking every single one. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do the next one it is really frustrating I, and I know most people probably won't show you this but I'm going to show you how to defend yourself with this one most of these ones you shouldn't need to worry too much about defense these ones like this the first two you don't really need to worry the the third one is where you really need to worry really they won't shoot you the guards won't shoot you if you're in a hack but if you are in a if you're not in a hack sorry um, <laughs> uh, you should be fine uh, like I said pretty easy pretty standard very easy way of completing this um, yeah we're just about done with this one um, move it down a little bit now please be careful you want to make sure you look at what you're doing see look I just completed this hack pretty much now I don't have to do anything until this hack is done so let's just wait for it for a little while Ah, so close. Just one more to go. Come on. One more rotation. Come on. Just one more rotation. Perfect. Okay. So, a lot of people... Well, I bet I'm not the only one who does this, but some people do make the mistake of backing out too soon. Don't do that. Just make sure you keep your hands off your controller when you know you've completed the uh, hack. Once, you've, once you're back into the uh, game, put your good hands on your controller or computer or whatever you're playing on and uh, just make sure you have this done. So I'm going to show you guys where I hide usually. Usually what I do is I hide behind this wall right here and then I can just take and then I can start shooting people from this direction and then just turn around and face from this direction. Now you don't want to go to the back one okay don't go to the far back on this because enemies could come actually from behind you and then knock you down so make sure you do not um, go to the far back but that's only for this one okay you don't need to worry about it for the fourth one I think. But if that's the case, if you do have trouble doing that again, do uh, what I just told you with the hiding in that place, okay? You should have a lot of protection cover, so yeah. So these ones, these hacks are actually pretty easy and they've all been different, so that's what I'm happy about. Okay, let's move on to this one. 
these hacks are very easy, guys. I will be honest. It's not a it's not a hard hack, but it is kind of kind of fidgety if you know what I mean. But I'm showing you guys the easiest way and the quickest way to actually complete these hacks. And it looks like that. I've just completed that hack just then. All right, let's move on to the next hack, I guess. Which is the last hack. You only need to do four hacks, and then you completed this part of the job. And then, so, okay, so once you've done here, what I usually do is I usually like to go the way we came, and you should have good protection. Some people make the horrible mistake, like this guy's doing right now, of going straight into trouble. I always do this, okay? I, I always do it. I, I just don't understand why people don't take the less guards route. It's just so easier, so much more easier. You don't have to worry about a ton of guards chasing you down and hunting you down. And just like that, I'm already at the next hack. Now, he might have got there too, but he's actually, he, this guy that I'm playing with is an experienced player. So if you are an experienced player, just don't do it, okay? Just don't do it. Just do it my way. It's so much safer. It's just so much safer, okay? Just do it my way. <laughs> I can promise you, you will not have any more troubles with this part. So this will be the last hack we do. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another hack you could do, but I'm not really sure uh, if, I'm, if I'm wrong or right. But if I'm wrong, um, I don't know, let me know down in the comments. But uh, yeah, we're basically nearly done with these hacks. They're really easy, pretty simple. But the next part's going to be really easy. Um, just make sure you just make sure your friend uh, or Whoever you're playing this with has a good defense because you really need that good defense. Okay. And if you've noticed, throughout this entire heist so far, I have not used one snack, one armor whatsoever. So you can actually tell that this is 100% legitimately true. I haven't used anything. I didn't. I don't even think I used it for when we uh, took that cover and uh, found that extra bit of health and armor. I don't think I picked that up. But the next part is pretty simple. It's pretty self-explanatory. All it says is for you to uh, finish off the guards. Very easy. Just, just finish them off. Um, not really much to explain here. But, yeah. They, they usually stop spawning once you've taken out all the guards beforehand. There we go. And then the next one's actually above us. So just, just take out the guard, I guess. Where are you? You're right up here somewhere, aren't you? Wait, he's down below. Okay, there might be a guy below, like, like really low. And take out this guy, and you're good. So I'm gonna show you guys where I usually go for the next part. So like, when we get to like, say the taking out of the thing of Clifford, make sure you go find this color purple right here. You want the color purple, and go to this one. Because the reason you want this, uh, this specific one is because the next part will make more sense. So the next part is just taking out Clifford. Pretty simple, standard procedure right there. Uh, just take him out. And then what you want to do after that is go straight down to the bottom. Now, personally, what I like to do is I like to go for targets D and I like to go for C. And the other person goes for A and B. Now, the reason I like to go for these two targets in specific is because it's quicker and it would save your um, other partner a lot of time. So just take out this target right here, boom, and then go to C. Once you've got the C done, I'm going to show you guys what to do next. And this is for a host only. Okay, the host only. And if you are a partner, you will want to go help him help by doing the A and B and uh, let the other one do C and uh, D. Okay, take out C, all good. Now I'm going to show you guys what you should do next. And this is honestly what I'd suggest for the host to do next. And this is very, very important. Okay, sometimes people fall off the edge and they die and they have to start the hacks all over again. Don't do that. Just go down the stairs. It's not going to take you long. Uh, what you want to do is you want to come down here and uh, this door right in front of you will be the next door you're going to go through to actually get the next part of the heist done, which is going to be very... Um, easy. Now, I got a challenge for you guys. Try and do this with just the OG pistol. Just this pistol right here. 
just try and do this with just this pistol. You got the best part about this is that you got to try and get as many headshots as you can. So take advantage of that. And uh, but if you don't want to do it, I guess just use any gun you want. Use the unholy hellbringer. Use the uh, assault shotgun or something like that. But personally, I like to go for the unholy hellbringer. Yeah. So we just got to wait for the hack to be completed. Um, okay. So we now have finished taking out the guards. Now you have now got the checkpoint. You see why that door is so important now? You'd have to go try and get that checkpoint. So once you've taken out A, I mean C and D, go down to the door and then you'll be able to get the next checkpoint really quickly because, you know, who, um, who knows how uh, good people are in this game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're basically taking out everyone. This next part is pretty simple. Just go through this, these doors. I'm going to maybe put a bit of a time lapse or just showing you guys how to do it with my own guns and stuff like that and I'm just gonna let you in and I'll now at this point I just put some armor on real quick because it was just so I, I, I was about to die so we gotta go do this now I actually could, can suggest you that the best gun for this job is actually the assault shotgun do not uh, if you want to use this weapon I'd say go for it but be careful when you're shooting the assault shotgun because you could easily shoot like a barrel and it could blow up. That's why I'd like to use the upper anonymizer because it's a little more fast shooting. Uh, did I say upper anonymizer? I meant to say unholy helping. Oh my god, oh my god, you're about to die. You are about to die. There we go. Okay, so basically we are basically finished with the heist. But I am going to show you guys the rest of it. So now what we are doing is we're taking out Avon. And we use jets to take him out. So I'm going to let you go through this. Okay, so you know, just let him go up. Um, he says his little speech. Let's just get carry on. This strategy works out for any amount of people, okay? One person, four people, doesn't matter. I mean, you know what I mean. <laughs> not, not one person. So, yeah, all you have to do now is take out Avon. He only takes, like, a couple missiles, and then you're done, and then he's donezo. Uh, but, yeah, once you've done that, take, once you've taken out Avon Hertz, all you have to do is just deliver this to the observatory, which is not that far away. Just, just deliver the observatory, and you're all sweet. So take out this target right here. You can avoid everyone else. Just take out this one and is important. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's three missiles. There we go, three missiles and it takes to blow up Avon Hertz. Anyway, let's head back to the observatory and we are done with this mission. Okay guys, so this is basically the heist done. I've basically shown you my secrets to this heist as much as I could. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new and tell me if this helps you down in the comments because this is cr this was crazy to record. Okay, deliver the two thrusters and you will be done yeah you know what i'm gonna save it i'm gonna make sure i know i got this <sighs> okay and just like that you get your bonus 50k if you check the car it would be 100k